Hello everyone, Neon Jigglypuff here, and welcome back to another episode of Bayonetta. In the last episode, we went through the prologue, we learned a bunch of stuff about Enzo, heaven and hell, the humans, and everything like that. We also met Rodan, the best assist trophy in Smash Ultimate, I'm calling it right now. Would have been cool to have him playable in Smash Brothers, but, you know, you can't have everything in life, you know what I mean? But at least he's an assist trophy, and Rodan is just a cool character, and I really like him, so I'm glad he's an assist trophy. However, I do wish Enzo was an assist trophy but who knows he might get a trophy or something like that or maybe he'll be maybe he might be the assist trophy too oh well, no we won't know until we find out but anyway let's get on with well the chapter i'm on we're on chapter one now we're no longer up pro wait hold on can i go to the wait a minute can I no wait but there's something i actually want to show off i don't know if i have it just yet wait oh wait that's the wrong thing costume change do we have them Yes, we do. Okay, so these costumes, right? We have four different costumes. We have Princess Peach, Daisy, Link, and Samus. And then we also have our, our um, default costume, right? Uh, pretty much what happens is, if we choose any of these, Bowser will show up and kill angels for us. But if we choose Link, we have a sword, and this is just, you know, it's just a blaster. Which I'll, I will be showing off all of these costumes eventually. Just not right now. I kind of want to do the defaults first but don't worry in probably the next episode i'll show off like a costume each episode and then i'll just go with whatever i feel like after that so three will be peach four will be daisy five will be link and then six will be samus and then from then on i will just choose whatever i um whatever i want to but right now we're gonna go default turn to the chapter menu yes yeah, so I, I want to show off that and i guess that's really all we can do right now so um let's go off of chapter one or go off let's start chapter one so, I asked around, and some whale in Europe is trying to fence a huge rock on the black market. He calls it the right eye, saying it's part of some set called the eyes of the world. Fits the bill of what you're after, don't it? Now, here's the funny bit. The stone passes around the halls of power for hundreds of years, vanishes, and then the black market goes white hot for the thing. But the seller wanted an arm and a leg for it, to the point no one could stomach the price. So back goes the stone. But not before everyone figures out where the guy is. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy doing this one, I bet. I love sticking it to the rich. Of course, when you do, don't forget your old buddy Enzo stuck his neck out on this one. Slide me a few fuzzles out of the rich guy's pocket for my troubles, right? Anyways, you better get going before the trail gets cold. Off to the middle of nowhere. Paradise of Europe. Vigor. So, this is supposed to be paradise? Okay, here we are. We're on a... Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot to check. Oops, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. Resident of Vigrid. Vigrid, I think? Anyway, 
Yes, what happens is we are in Purgatorio, or a thing called Purgatorio, where like the citizens can't see us. We can see them, but they can't see us. As you can see here, we can actually interact with them and walk through them, and they'll be like, they'll be confused, like, what was that, right? We can also do something kind of mean. I don't like doing this, but look what we can do. Um, we can do shotguns, whatever, and then they'll be scared and they'll run away. I know it's it's very mean, but it, it's like. It's, it's, I know it's mean, but it's like, eh, it's kind of funny sometimes, you know? Uh, I know, like, but could you imagine being them? Like, holy crap, you're seeing these, like, freaking benches and stuff explode for no reason. Or, or, like, you're hearing uh, gunshots that feel pretty real. It's like, wow. I know, I, I would be freaking out too. But anyway, there's actually something I want to do here. Um, get items. I want to equip these, actually. Um, I want to set these to the top and wait let's see what what is this oh i don't what's I, I oh i don't what is this um what's this do um oh it's just bullets okay more bullets whatever exit so we can actually buy items that right there what i assigned is actually healing items so um yeah it, it does exactly what i what it sounds like it, it's a healing item you know there's three different types there's healing and then there's one that gives you more attack power and one that pretty much makes you invincible for a short period of time or it or maybe it's more defense i'm pretty sure it like it makes you invisible for like a certain amount of hits so pretty much it's extra hp if you really think about it or like a barrier or something like substitute in pokemon except you don't have to uh, sacrifice your own hp to use it it's just you know you, you buy it but anyway i love these references to other uh, like other games like Eggman, the Halos being rings from Sonic, freaking like the, the uh, eye thing, right? That shiny rock. That was pretty much a Chaos Emerald. And I think the references are amazing. So if you're a Sonic fan and you're watching this, you're, this is this game is kind of a love letter to you Sonic fans. Because like there's so many references to Sonic games, you will not believe it. And Devil May Cry games too. There's a bunch of references that game as well. In fact, I think that shares the same dev team. Sphere embodiment. Wait, there's something spawn with which is power built in. Okay, wait. Oh, we gotta beat it up. Okay. We gotta use our super punch. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see. Hold B. Oh, wait. We hold B to extend our jump. It's pretty much a double jump. So, yeah, look at this. B and then B and then if we hold... Wait, we don't, we don't get that yet? Oh. Okay, we don't get it yet. Well, I checked. There's a whole... The iron door, wait. Oh, okay, I know what to do. I know what to do here. We don't punch it. We have to find a key, it seems. We have to jump down here anyway. Okay, wait, what is that? Oh, it's just more magic. Okay, can't go wrong with that. Uh, if we go down here, there's nothing. What? There's nothing here? Oh, wait, wow. Oh, no. Okay, it's, this is a treasure chest, right? If you want to break it open, it's super simple. Just keep on beating it up until it breaks. And now we have a key that... Wait, what? Oh, we have a, literally a giant key. Okay. So, yeah, so this game may look real... Oh. Wait, we can use the key... Okay, I don't remember this at all. We can use the key to attack the angels. You know what? This is cool. This is fine. Oh, God. We almost got hit. But, wow. Just like that. Easy. Okay. I don't remember that being part of the game. I don't remember using keys as weapons. I remember you could use everything else, but just not the key. But, okay. So, yeah, this game has... A realistic art style it's you know it's aesthetic is pretty uh, realistic but it also acts pretty cartoony as well like look at her fighting style this is not realistic in the slightest she has guns attached to her shoes how does she shoot them how does she pull the trigger I don't know maybe she has a secret toe never mind um yeah look <laughs> never mind I'm sorry for ruining the bayonetta with you these oh this is a, a timing mini game set the two crystals one of the pieces is still destroyed okay we get the dodge in time. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Wicked weave. Okay, so it's teaching us stuff. Okay, this is fine. Uh, we have a mini. Well, not really a mini boss, but it's um, random encounters. So this game, gameplay-wise, it's kind of like DMC. No, it pretty much is DMC. Like I would say, it's a combination of DMC. What's the? What's that game called? Um, it's the girl. No, not, not the girl. It's the game where, like, you play as, like, a girl with, like, who likes lollipops and she likes chainsaw. I forgot what it's called. Is it, like, lollipop chainsaw? I don't know what it's called, but it's similar to that. 
It's a beat em up game. It's an action beat em up game. So, okay, that I wasn't even looking and I beat them. Okay, I'm fine with that. Th th this is fine. But think of a combination of Kingdom Hearts, DMC, and Lollipop. Chainsaw Princess. I don't know what the game is called, but it's it's this on screen right here. I'll show it. It's that game, and Kingdom Hearts and uh, and uh, DMC. So it's a it's a good game. Uh, so it's easy to learn but hard to master. Uh, oh, I haven't been reading it all. It, if wish will walk upon water. Okay, so we have to dodge lightning. Pretty much, it's a timing game. It's not hard. All I gotta do is press Y to lift it, and then wait, what? Oh, activate. And Bayonetta's naked. Dodge perfect timing, and then boom, we can walk on water. And Bayonetta's almost completely naked. Yes, because um, her hair... Or no, I almost said her hair's made out of clothes. No, her clothes are made out of her hair, and Bayonetta doesn't have a spine. Look at this. She doesn't have a spine. But anyway, um, Bayonetta... So her clothes are made of her hair. Pretty much all of it, except for her boots and like the parts that... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I always forget words when I'm trying to use them. The words that uh, conveniently cover up her her tits her ass and her um her poos are the only parts of her clothes that are actually real the rest are just hair or is just hair yeah that's kind of it's weird her hair is like her clothes are made out of her hair it's really really weird so that means technically bayonetta is always naked yeah her just her clothes are made of her hair but she also uses her hair to use attacks so when she so pretty much the more she attacks the more of her clothes i well, the more of her clothes rip off because she has to use that hair to attack. So, um, yeah, expect to see a lot of ass in this in this game. Because, like, yeah, this game is a, a lot of ass, but I am not complaining in the slightest. No, I am not. <laughs> Stop. Okay, anyway, let's, um, what did I use? I don't even know what I got. I just collected something, but, yeah. Also, always destroy everything in your pet. Oh. I knew it. This town's teeming with heaven's little helpers. It's making my buddies downstairs awfully nervous. And your point is? Some places in this world are closer to Paradiso or Inferno. The rat hole of the town you and I live in is close to both. But the Bygridians, they got a special air about them. They're closer to Paradiso than anyone should ever be. And that shit just plain creeps me out. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to set up shop here and score me some halos. These stupid rings are worth a fortune back home. Since it seems you're spoiling for a fight, if you come across any of these, bring them to me, and I'll hook you up. <sighs> Another one looking to line his pockets. <laughs> I'm beginning to see why Enzo is so fond of you. Real cute. But let's get one thing straight. Your fights are yours alone. I'm only here to watch my handiwork in action. So don't get any bright ideas about coming to me for help. No. You get one thing straight. I'm not the slightest bit interested in the fact that you made these guns. If you get in my way, I will... How do the Americans put it? Oh, yes. Bust a cap in your ass. Right on, baby. Right on. <laughs> I love the humor and writing in this game. Like, the, this game's writing is on, like... It, like, if Paper Mario were an M-rated series, this is what it would be like. It is so... This, like, this game could be hilarious, creepy, and serious, and, like, just everything all at once. Like, this game is literally not... Like, it's not just one thing, it's a bunch of things, and I love the writing. It's so clever and charming and self-aware. I just... Like... This company really knows their fans. It's It's so... It's great. I love this game so much. And the sequel is like a million times better, but let's not talk about the sequel. Let's talk about the game we're playing right now. Anyway, the Gates of Hell is this game's item shop where we buy, well, items, weapons, new techniques, and stuff like that. And yeah, it's it's good. 
And it's also home to the best song in this game. The Gates of Hell theme is my absolute favorite. There's just so many Easter eggs and and like um, references in this game. Like, it's so amazing. And what almost everything Rodan says is a reference to something. Like there's a, there's like a Futurama reference in the sequel, I believe. There's um, there's like a Skyrim reference in this game. There's just so much. It's this game is amazing. The writing is amazing. But anyway, I'm only here to buy items. I want to buy some healing stuff. Green herb. Okay, I'll buy one of each. Uh, yet yeah, only three per customer. I want a you, one of you, and then I'll, the rest I'll buy are gonna be these healing ones. Sold out? Oh, I can only hold three at a time. You know what? Uh, let's see. I'll buy this one. There we go. We are, we are dirt poor now. We can't afford anything. But that's fine. We're out here anyway. We got a bunch of items, and let's go and equip those to, or map them to our D-pad. By the way, if you haven't noticed yet... I'm playing on the Switch. I'm not playing the Wii U version, not playing the Xbox version. I am playing, or or not PC, I'm playing um, the Switch, obviously, because I'm you know, i not really a PC gamer. I don't really like playing on PC. And, um, wait, set. I'll set you to here. Wait, the left. Yeah, okay. And I'll set you to the right. There we go. Let's get out of here. Now we have our items, and we can hold down to use them at any time during battle or whatever, but yeah. So be careful. Don't hold down the D-pad or anything, because you might accidentally waste an item which you don't want to use. And uh, let's see, get a bunch of halos back, because you know, every halo counts, or every sonic ring counts. They're technically sonic rings. But anyway, let's, wait, is there something here? There is. There, oh, there's a bunch of stuff here that I missed. Okay. But anyway, let's actually get back to what we were doing. Wait, is it, we were going this way. Yeah, we were. I think we were going this way. Um, I hope I'm not going the wrong way. Uh, oh, this is... No, wait. No, it isn't. I just came from here, to, guys. I, I I, just came from here. Uh, wow. Great. I'll see you guys at the... Oh, oh my God. The station gate is sealed shut. However, maybe... Wait, what? Oh, if we have some kind of electronic... Thing we might be able to open it. Okay, um, let's see what it is we have to do. Break into this door, break the rules, because you know there's signs here, but who cares? Uh, okay, let's see. There's got to be something here we can do. I know there is. I mean, I, I know it. It may seem like I'm playing this game blind, but trust me, I'm not. I'm just very forgetful when it comes to playing games. I'm just not good at remembering games that I've already played because I've beaten this game before. And wait, oh, oh, it's, we're literally supposed to go out. Oh, okay, then I'm. I'm sorry, people. I don't want to scare you, but I kind of need the halos. I want to... I spent all of them on items. I know. I'm sorry. Don't be scared. What did we get? The Crystal Witch and Sage. Okay, cool. I'm sorry. I don't mean to scare you guys. I don't want to scare you, but I need money. Wait, no, there's something up here. Why are you running towards where the thing came from? Not like if there was a... Oh, God. I'm destroying their... I'm sorry. I'm destroying your town, but I need rings. I mean, hey, I'm just going to call them rings. It's what they are. They're sonic rings. Even though they're halos. But, you know, depending on what costume you wear, the currency will change. And it's, you know, I'll let you guys find out when I do that. But hold on. Cutscene. Here we go, first mini boss of the game, or first true mini boss of the game. Here we have, I, I'm not gonna pretend like I know how to pronounce his name, because I don't. It's, the names here are pretty weird. Ooh, look at this, we get to steal weapons, look at this, guys. If we kill enemies, we get to take their weapons for a certain amount of time before it breaks. I assume that's what happens, it breaks. But, wait, let's use it on the side. Yeah, we're using this angel's own staff against him. 
This is great. I love this game so much. But the oh god, I am not using Witch Time enough. I I'm not. I really need to start using Witch Time. And I really need to buy more of the techniques. I forgot the te the, the uh, techniques you buy in other files don't carry over to um your like new ones. So all the techniques and like special moves that I bought in the other game or my or my uh, my original file are gone. I don't have any techniques. All I have are the basic moves, and I uh. Yeah, it took me almost the whole game to get them all, but, you know, they're... You can get them pretty easily, actually, so it's not that bad. Torture attack! There we go! Goodbye. These little angel heads are pretty easy to beat. But they're really annoying, though. They're like bees. Oh, bees? Oh, go... <gasps> That's my favorite weapon. Oh, my God! It's my favorite! No, this one isn't, but I'll still use it. I like this one. Where, where'd they get over here? There's another mini-boss. No, let me get... No, let me kill the thing, please. Let me kill this guy. Let yes, there we go. I'm finally doing damage on you. But I want that musical thing, so you I'm gonna kill you first, actually. Because I like your weapon. Torture attack I lost my magic. I can't do torture attack. And I'm I'm knocked. Oh god. Wait. Where's the weapon? Oh <gasps> there we go. I love this weapon so much and it's gone. I wasted on not on the not thing. I wasted it. I really... Oh, God. No. Don't. Don't die now. I, I'm not gonna... I am not about to use my items. My healing items on a mini-boss. The first mini-boss of the game. I'm so used to playing Hyrule Warriors. I, I, I keep thinking that the L button will target the, um... The mini-boss. Is that it? No, there's still... Oh. Beloved, I can read that. And I'm gonna die, so you know what? Yeah, I have to use a healing item. I know, it sucks, but... Oh, there we go, it's his weak point! Just, you know, his weak point's pretty obvious. It's a big, red, glowing thing. Just aim for that, and you'll be fine. Just keep using which time and... Oh, God, no, jump, jump, there we go. There we go, and I believe I can... Wait, no, I can't. I can't use a torture attack on bosses. Uh, the bosses, though, are early on. They're... Oh, God. Oh, what the hell? This is really early. I did not expect it to be this easy. Watch me die instantly now. And climax. Oh, climax. Na naked. Guys, the climaxes are really, really good. I know. I, I'm saying stuff that's really quotable right now, and I should stop. Wait. There we go. 500 rings. Or halos. So yeah, Bayonetta can turn her. Whoa, that's a. She can turn her hair into a giant demon thing. I know this game is pretty cool, and that's also where her final smash comes from in Smash Four and Ultimate. Anyway, this weapon right here, and it shrinks down to our size. So we can use it just like Ridley shrunk down for Smash. You guys were all wrong. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. Now we can progress over to where this area is. And, um... Yeah, wait, can I? I don't want to use it. No, I don't want to use it. I don't want to use this. I just want to, uh... Open up these things. These pots. I just want the things. And there was nothing in there anyway. Open! Perfect timing! You guys are dead. And instant kill. There's a pretty... Whoa! Pure Platinum? Wow, I'm doing a lot better than I did when I first played this. Wow. Maybe because I'm more experienced on my horse. Wait, never mind. I, I didn't... What? Okay, break this open, and... Wait a minute. I think I remember what's... I remember what's gonna happen now. I remember... Yep, I remember this boss, and I'm not good at it. But this is the first real boss of the game. Yeah, we're already here. Wait, whoa, 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 what the hell, what the hell? Okay, go over here. Oh, God. All you can really do it right now is shoot at him. We can't do anything because, look, if I try and punch, it won't reach. Wait, yes, it will. What? Yes, it will. 
Holy balls. And she just got Vord. She just got... She got Vord as well. Guys, this game is Vore now. This game has become Vore. It's... This is serious, guys. Um, can you, like, attack me so I can, uh, witch time, please? Oh, god! We did it! No, we didn't! No, we didn't! Um... Oh, yes! There we go! Now we can now we can do our thing! Okay, kill! Kill! I didn't even get to... Are you serious? I didn't even get to do the thing. Wait, oh, god, okay. Okay, let's go! Let's go, please! Let me... Wait, can I do another one? No, the frames are dot. Oh my god, I managed to get two in. I am proud of... I am proud of that. Really proud of that. Okay, so yeah, these bosses can get really, really intense, and I... I got hit. I ruined it. I ruined my chance. No, no, no! These bosses are really... Like, think about it, guys. This is the first, like, real boss of the game. That's it. This is, like, world one boss, and it's this intense. This is, like, final boss worthy, but it's just the first one. So... Yeah, expect some crazy stuff from this game. This game is no joke. Despite it being pretty funny sometimes, it's, it's not a joke. And... Nope. Nice try. But we can't do anything. All we can do is shoot. Oh, God. Did that still hit me? D did that still hit me? And, wow, I keep failing. Wow, this is not this is not good at all. He's not even halfway done yet. Oh, my God. Oh. Never mind. We're going to phase two. Or not. This is right, guys. It didn't even happen. It was just a dream. It didn't actually happen. <laughs> Why am I doing Peter Griffin? Why am I doing Peter Griffin? What a great... Wow. What a great... But now that I have more, more halos, let's go back to the gates of hell and buy some items. So I'll see you guys back when we're out of the gates of hell. After I buy some items. After I... I'm done. You know the drill. Well, an angelic hymn's gold LP. Got your hands on something awfully rare, haven't you? That thing is the perfect mate to coax out some of hell's ugliest. One note hits their ears, and a damn who's who of Inferno comes pouring out of the inner circles. Then I can use them to breathe life into what I make best. Weapons of mass destruction. Tell you what, you give me that record and I'll order up something so fiendish, angels will cry at the sight of it. I'll just have to pop down to the tropics for a bit. So take a load off. Roses, if you got a new gun that we have to pay for, but yeah, if you check in weapons, they're now available for purchase for a lot and for, you know, for a lot of money. And uh, since there's no amiibo functionality in this game, we can't cheat and get a bunch of halos like I did in Bayonetta 2. But yeah, anyway, let's buy some items. I, I, I was gonna skip it, but you know, there, um, there was some story stuff going on, so yeah, didn't skip it. Uh, let's buy one more. Just make it even, then we'll buy one of these. Perfect. Now we're dirt poor again. And we're going to leave. Now I would end the episode off here, but I'm not sure if it's... I think, I'm not sure if it's going to end off just yet or not. I don't know if I should end it off here or... Should I complete the chapter? Because it might take a while. Uh, actually, you, you know what? You know what? Um, I'll end it off here. I'll end off the episode... So you know what? I'm gonna end it. I know, I know it's pretty weird to end off an episode right near a boss battle, I know, but like, I'm gonna end it off here because it's gonna take a while and it's already been 31 minutes, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna end it off here, and I'll continue this boss in the next episode, and then I'll try all those costumes that I've showed off earlier. So with that all said, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of, so, as usual, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Bayonetta, uh, question of the day, um, 
Hold on, uh, let's see. How are you liking these bosses? How do you... What's your opinion on these bosses? Like, how like how crazy did that... Like, we had that giant dragon thing as our first boss, and it wasn't really even real. Like, that's literally the first boss of the giant dragon thing. Which means that we're in for some crazy shit right now. I know it's gonna be excited, but... What's your guys' opinions on it? Like, what would you do if, like, you say you're playing a game, right? Blind, and all of a sudden, the first boss is like a giant final boss worthy thing i know the first time i was playing it i was kind of shocked even after the whole you know me realizing it's bayonetta it's not mario but still yeah i still think it's pretty cool uh so what do you guys think do you guys think it's crazy do you guys think it's cool do you guys think it's whoa unnecessary i almost dropped my mouse and um yeah with that all said i hope you all have a great day and i will see you in the next episode see you later guys